Starting this vlog with a little bit of music, I went outside to practice on my Ravvas Dil Tong Drum, mostly just scales and getting my left hand used to moving around the instrument since it's my non-dominant hand. I don't know why, but this note just felt particularly resonant, like the tone of the day, so it just made sense to end my practice session with that note. Here's a little behind the scenes prepping my hand painted ornaments. It is way past the holiday season at this point, but I didn't get a chance to document the entire process of making them, and this was part of what I was able to capture, and I still wanted to share that. This is a little Instagram versus reality, so you could see what goes into taking the photos and how they turned out. I think these photos turned out so, so beautiful, and I'm really proud of the collection. I, I couldn't be any prouder, honestly, but I am looking forward to what they're going to look like next holiday season and how my work this year will affect the next collection. One thing I think is really important to mention is that while the artist's life is super beautiful and nourishing and enriching and such a gift to be able to share with others, there are a lot of times, probably most of the time, that is kind of prep work, tedious work maybe. So here I'm basically cutting out pieces of larger paper into smaller pieces. Um, that I like to work on 4x6, 5x7. Sometimes I use this size for studies, sometimes I use this size for finished pieces. But yeah, I just wanted to show that behind all of the beauty is a lot of quiet, busy work. Recently, I've been super drawn to bright, vibrant colors. I'm not sure how they're going to come into my upcoming work, but I'm just going to play around and see what comes to me and just enjoy color exploration. I find that even if this doesn't directly affect my paintings that I release, any collections, it's all of this information goes into me as a creator and it fills me up with inspiration and information for the future. One thing I wanted to experiment with was starting with neutral, tan, and gray colored backgrounds just to see where that would take me. I usually start with a white background and sort of let the painting cover or not cover 
the background, but I thought it might be something interesting, especially with the ideas that I've been having to start with some neutral backgrounds. As you can see, I'm sort of playing with the colors and I just explored and mixed colors as I went. I usually do it this way, not necessarily choosing colors straight from the two, but mixing to find that color. The hard part about that is those colors usually don't exist ever again, but I find that's a really beautiful and interesting part of creating is that what you get in the moment is a product of that particular moment in time and it's okay if it stays there. I'm ending this video with a celebratory dance because I made a sale and that's what I do when I make a sale. Basically, I, I just dance. I'm happy. <laughs>